Hello guys and welcome to the third video of the Blacktack tutorial using Java. So, in this video we are going to be creating the four buttons that are required for a game to run and we are going to place them on our board. So, let's go ahead and create our buttons. We are going to go up here and all we gotta do is say um, Let's say that here are the buttons, and uh, let's type button B hit. This is going to be for hit, as you guessed, equals new button. And let's go ahead and copy that three times and change that to B stay for when we want to stay, B yes for when we ask the user if he wants to play more or not, and B no if he does not want to play anymore. So here they are, uh, our buttons, so the game is ready, we can play. Start it, oh where are the buttons? We forgot to add them on our board. Hmm, let's go ahead and add the buttons. Let's go ahead and add hit for starters. So board dot add uh B hit. Here we are. Uh so if we run now hmm here is our little button. Hmm is this going to be the button? Hmm, yes it is, unless we change its dimensions and position. And in order to do that, we have go we have to go up here and say behit dot set bounds, which is the method uh that will set the position and dimensions of the button and X and Y like exactly the, the rectangle and uh, also width and height uh, uh, are the top left corner position and the dimensions. So let's go ahead and uh, set it to 400 and 400 for now and say it's 200 by 120 for now. We're not gonna leave it there. So let's run. Did it change? No, it's still there. But why is it still there? It is because of the default layout. Well, I, uh, I'm not uh, really familiar with the layouts, but I know that the default layout of the window is responsible for the button being here and not being where we told the computer that it should be. And at uh, this particular line of code. Uh, so uh, let's go ahead and change the layout. Actually, set it to null. So this dot set layout, and in here type null. So now it should be working. And yes, it is. Our button is at the position 400, 400 right here. And its dimensions are 200 by 120 pixels. So, hmm, is it done? No, we still have to change the background color and tie and insert some text in here. Do you like this color with that green? Well, I wouldn't say it's that bad, but uh, in the previous black tag I made. I had a very nice yellow color um to be right here. Uh where is it? Colors used color bottom. And this is the color. So hmm. Um let's go ahead right here and say hit dot Set color, set background actually, 
and say color button. You're going to get a little error because we have not created that color yet. We're going to create it right ahead. Color button equals new color and here are the numbers that we copied. So let's run this and here is our yellow. So uh, we want the button to say head. In order to do that we have uh, to, se uh, to set the text inside. So let's type come on clock uh, be hit. Oh my god, that caps lock. Uh, dot set text and in here write type hit. Uh, so now we're getting an error. Why is that? It's because I made a mistake up here. We should uh, uh, create those buttons as J buttons and not simple buttons. If you change all these to J buttons, you're gonna get this fine uh, set text method right here. So, uh, you see, it's working perfectly. But, hmm, isn't it a little small? I know the button might be too big. Let's make that uh, 120 by 80, for example. Uh, but uh, still, you're gonna see that the letters are too small. Hmm, what should we do? We should change the font. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a font. Let's say that here are our fonts and say font font button equals new font. And this is how fonts are created. Uh, here we mention the name of the font. Mm, let's say uh, Times New Roman for now. Uh, here we mention what type we want it to be. Uh, we don't want it to be italic, no bold. So let's make it plain. And here is the size. So let's make that 30 for now and see if it's big enough. No. It's still small, but why is it still small? Because we did not change the font. So let's go ahead and say b hit dot set font and insert font button. Let's run this now. And yep, it's big enough, I think. Hmm. Okay, we have created our first button. And uh, okay, uh, the button is here. We can click it, but hmm, doesn't it have to do something? Uh, where are the lines of code that are supposed to run whenever we click it? Well, in order for something to occur when we click the button, we have to create an action listener and um, uh, link it to our button. So let's go ahead. And uh, create a new class, public class. Let's call this act hit implements action listener. So, hmm, we get an error. We did not import action listener. Okay, let's double click that and import it. But wait a second, didn't we import it here? Does, uh, doesn't the star mean that we import everything after uh, Java out? Hmm, in Java you import everything that has three words. Well, this uh, import right here has four words and three dots. This is why it has to be imported separately. I know that's very bad, but still. Okay, so we get 
Uh, is it still the same error? No, it is not. We did not add uh, some methods. So let's double click that. Hmm, and yep, the methods are automatically generated. Hmm, does this remind you of this method right here? We still got an error here, a warning actually, and we double clicked, and this was automatically generated. Yep. Uh, so, let's remove the argument 0 and make it E for event. Uh, and what we need to do now is, okay, we have a type of action listener called act hit, but don't we have to create one? Yes, we do. So, let's say act hit A hit equals new act hit. Okay, and don't we have to link it to our button? Yes, we do. So, b hit dot add action listener and say a hit in here. And just to see that it's working, uh, we're going to print something in the console. And uh, you just click uh, the hit button. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if it works. I'm I click it, and the message appears. So, hmm, okay, Ubisoft is through hire us now because we made a fully working button, and this text appears whenever we click it. Okay, now uh, I told you that. We're gonna need three more buttons. Do we have to do all this stuff again? Yes, we do. So, let's go ahead and copy that three times. Okay, uh, let's say that um, here is our button stuff. Okay, this is going to be, uh, let's create another method class, sorry, not method. Okay, and make this the act stay for the stay button, the act yes for the yes button, and act no for the no button. So let's change that to stay. Yes and no. Okay, uh, let's go up here now and change these. So this is going to be stay. A stay, of course, equals new act stay okay uh, it is exactly the same thing but uh, we're changing hit with stay yes and no okay exactly the same thing which is nothing except the uh, position because uh, sorry because we denote the buttons to be one on, uh, on top of the other because we're going to be able to see only one button and so we want to be able to click every one of them. So let's change the position and maybe move this uh, to the right by 200 pixels. So this is going to be, let's copy that, this day. Change that to stay. So, hmm. Let's see. Oh my god. I was not supposed to change this one. I was supposed to change this one. Well, everybody makes mistakes. So. Oh, button. 
600 um that's about right so uh let's mark uh those lines of code as comments so that they are not going to run uh we have already changed those okay so there it is our stay button we click the hit you just click the hit button we click stay you just click the stay button so they're both uh perfectly functioning okay uh let's continue i know it's taking it's, it's taking uh, some time guys but this is how you got to do this uh so let's copy that let's go here and change it to yes yes always say yes well not always um okay yes 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 uh, so let's go ahead and move it to the bottom 200 pixels down and let's mark this as comments and run this and here it is our yes button let's click it you just click the yes button hit stay yes 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 okay working perfectly so uh, let's go ahead and finish this a no act no because new act no be no be no be no be no be no no and a no was it the last one no we have changed the position let's go make it 600 actually ah okay. let's leave it as it is so here are all our buttons you just click the hit button you just click the stay button you just click the yes button and you just click the no button everything is working perfectly so uh but we say that these buttons right here yes no are going to be here and are only going to be visible when we ask uh, the user if he wants to play more in the end of each round. And uh, the hit and stay button are only going to be visible on when it's the player's turn and not the dealer's turn. And um, are going to be visible only when... Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I just said that. Uh, only when the player uh, is playing. Okay, so uh, we're going to change the positions and also the dimensions of the buttons and uh, we're going to make them visible only when it's uh, the appropriate time and we're going to do all that along uh, with the border dra uh, borders drawing because we want to see where each thing is going to be placed. Uh, in the next video. So guys, uh, I will see you then and peace out.